Now, how many screenplays did you have written when you sold your first one? Because I, I always tell people, don't just have one. <laughs> yeah. Don't write, don't, don't sell your first screenplay generally. Um, you know, I hadn't sold a written script until Go, which was pretty far into it. So I'd written four things before I had one that sold. Mm -hmm. But two of those things I'd um, written, I'd, I'd been paid to write. They were adaptations of existing books. So I was very lucky. It started very quickly for me. Mm -hmm. um, but your general advice, I think, is correct, is that you don't put everything in. Don't assume that the one thing you're working on right now is the thing that's going to break through for you because you just don't know. And you're still learning your craft. You, you can't anticipate all these things that are going to happen. That said, you know, write the movie you wish you could see because that's the movie that you're going to actually stick by and finish and really be able to, you know, stay home on Friday nights to work on. And you, you, can, you came up in the 90s. So the, yeah. the, the screenwriting marketplace was a little bit different back then. The, uh, well, there, there, were, there were truly were spec sales. There would be like, you know, a million dollar spec sale for, uh, you know, an original script. And that has basically all gone away. And so that was different. It was, uh, it was a boom time. There, were, there clearly were things that were happening there. The same way that there's it's a boom time right now for television. It's just it's shifted a lot. Yeah, because because back then, I mean, you would get these Joe Esther House, Shane Black deals that would just yeah. like two, three million dollar for me. It was like a lottery almost. Yeah. And yeah. and someone like Esther House, he I think he made more money on movies that never got made. <laughs> yeah, than he did. Yeah, and but I mean, that's always been true of screenwriting, though. Is that mm -hmm. you know there are a lot of screenwriters who get hired a lot and they work a lot, but you know most movies that are developed don't get made, and so um, that is a frustration of screenwriting is that. Even me, like I've been, had a pretty good track record, but most of the things I've written have not been made, and that's a real frustration. And you've actually been, and these are things that you're hired to do. You've been to hired, do yeah. So I mean, I have, I have like twelve produced credits, but I have at least thirty scripts that I've written, to, you know, for pay, and most of them are just kind of frozen in Twelve Point Courier, just because you know either the underlying rights or just whatever didn't come together the right way to make those movies. Yeah, it is a frustrating part of of the whole yeah. the whole game, and. And there's multiple reasons for that. It could be yeah. rights or something like that, or just studio uh, changes. <laughs> Absolutely, you never found the right director, or there was a competing project that was too similar. 